Hey everyone, Mo here. First of all, I want to apologize for my voice uh, if it sounds kind of like uh, sick because I just got back from Toronto like two days ago and kind of my immune system all shut down and I'm sick, I caught the flu. Welcome to Canada. So with that being said, let me deliver on my promise here. As I promised you, I will show you how to set up your Facebook reports so you guys can move fast and quick through your ads manager and look at your data and figure out what's going on with your ads without you losing half a day looking at that all right so all what you have to do is you click on your uh, on your reports you set up a custom report and basically add all these columns the first one is the ad set name then you want the reach the frequency the cpm the cpc link doesn't matter if you're pushing uh, photo ads or link ads you want to see your link like your cost per website click not just the cpc on the image or the link now you want to see also the relevant score so that gives you a good indication of your uh, like if your product is uh, resonating with your audience and so on same with the CTR kind of double check on your targeting positive and negative feedback are very important as well you won't see these two at the ad set level you will only see them at the ad level uh, the view content the cost per uh, view content, then your add to cart, your cost per add to cart, the add to cart conversion value. So how much value did people add to cart? So if you are using Trackify, you need to select uh, the conversion add value tracking to yes. If you're using manual uh, pixel install, you have to do that manually. After that, there is the purchase cost per purchase and the purchase conversion value. And obviously you have the amount spent and the budget. Now I like to place my amount spent at the end. So when I look at my reports, I can kind of see like into, uh, into like uh, one column next to another, how much I spent and how much I made. Now don't be mistaken when you look at these numbers because your purchase, you need to subtract your cost of goods, your merchant account and any other fees you may add to your store. So when you spend 500 to make $2,000, don't be too happy you did not make $1,500, you made $1,500 minus the cost of goods, minus the Shopify payment or PayPal or whatever merchant account you're using, minus whatever other fees, just to make sure and don't be fooled when people show you that online. Uh, also, I like to set my budget next to this number because it allows me like to adjust my budget on the fly so I can increase, decrease and so on. Now, if you think about this, it's kind of like the funnel on Shopify. So basically what happens on Shopify is you set up your ad, people click to view your content, then they add to cart and then they either buy or not. So kind of that's how I set up my reports. So people view, uh, view the content, then they add to cart and then they either purchase or not. Now, let's say people are not buying. So looking at this report, the way it is, I can see if people are actually adding to cart or not. So if I have people adding to cart, but they are not purchasing, that means my uh, like my uh, my product is probably uh, like I have like high shipping fees because people already saw the product like so the product price so they added to cart and then they may encounter high shipping fees or maybe my uh, my cart page something is wrong with my cart page or there is a bug in my system or whatever so if you see people adding to cart and not purchasing you may want to uh, to figure why that is happening you may want to install uh, heat maps like hotjar or lucky orange or whatever you have whatever you're comfortable with using i highly recommend hotjar because it's kind of free and it gives you whatever that i want also, if you see people clicking on the view content and not adding to cart, so something is wrong with the product page. So either the price is too high, the images are not good enough, the site is not loading fast enough. Uh, I don't know, like uh, something is broken in the system, like the add to cart button and so on. Your sales letter is not strong enough. Like, so my point is when you look at the reports, you can kind of see what's happening and what level. So view content, kind of reflect the product page, the add to cart, reflect the cart page and purchase, obviously the purchase page and the checkout page on Shopify. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any question, hit me up either on Facebook, YouTube or wherever this video will be posted. Will be a pleasure to answer all your questions and always listen to Mo. Cheers.